Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video session, we are going to learn J unit parameterized test. Now, what it actually does? Whenever a user or a tester wants to run one test scenario for different different data, different sort of data, and it want he wants to run it over and over again, then parameterized test is being used. It allows a developer to run the same test over and over using different values. So actually we are passing the values on the static base to the test cases. So the test cases will be executed by taking that values and it will be verifying the proper result. So why it is required? Suppose we are having one login form and we want to check that whether it works correctly or not. Then we will be passing. 4 to 5 set of values for username and password. We will be providing it correct values as well as we will be providing it incorrect values. So every time running the test case and providing the single value will be more tedious task. So instead of it, we can gather the data into bunch of data sets and then we can pass it to as a parameter to the particular test case. So it can run the same test case over and over again using different data and verifying the result whether the login form works correctly or not. So we will learn that how practically the parameterized test is being executed in our followed program. Let us see the example of parameterized test in J unit. For that I am taking one example that I am having five numbers and I want to check whether the number is prime or not. So associated with result I want to check whether the result is proper associated the, with the value or not. For that I have created one prime number checker dot java file. In this class I just have created one method. The method is validate and it is returning one boolean value and it is having one argument as prime number. If the number is prime it will return true and if the number is not prime it will return false. Now this method will be used in prime number test dot java. Over here I have created three data member that is input number, expected result and one object of the prime number checker file. So there is one object that I have created. Now as I want to do parameterized test you need to write at the rate run with annotation with the parameterized dot class file. So you need to give this parameterized dot class along with at the rate run with alloc annotation. Then how actually it is going to be work whenever you are specifying over here that is parameterized dot class you need to specify the parameters. So over here I have specified the parameters that is at the rate parameterized dot parameters annotation and you need to check create one collection of prime numbers so you can use any object or any data set to create your parameters like set array list and so I have created collection and I have created two dimension array of object and which is I'm passing as array list to the collection so I have passed five parameters over here the parameter is having number as well as boolean value so I am passing it to this collection and I am specifying that number 2 is prime number, 6 is non prime number, 19 is prime number, 22 is non prime number and 23 is prime number. So I will be checking whether the first argument and the second associated with the first argument is proper or not. Suppose I am writing here false then the test should be failed. Now every time the collection parameters will be used this, this constructor will be called and it will be assigning the input number to this dot input number and expected result to this dot expected result. So using this input number and expected result our test will be executed. Now I have written one test method which is testing whether the given combination is proper or not. So parameterized number is input number so over here the number will be given and each time for each time this test will be executed so we have five numbers so five times the test will be executed it will be giving you the expected result that is your boolean value 
so true for first argument suppose you have given true so this will be validated with your input number so prime number checker dot validate dot input number input number is 2 so 2 will be passed over here and it will be checked whether it is prime or not as it is prime number this method will return true so here the value will be true so this true will be passed over expected result this true will be passed over actual result and those two will be compared same way same thing will be happened for this four parameters also the test will be executed for five times and it will be executed as true as we are having proper argument so let us run this test case using test runner where you have just called the prime number test class to run the execution so let's run as java application so here your the test has been called five times even if you have written it in for one time so after the five test has been called every test is successful so true has been written so this is how we can use parameterized test in JUnit. Thank you.